Hi, right, welcome to Sea Rover's video blog. I'm CJ on board Paramore, and we had a wet night last night. It poured here. I guess our dry winter is over, making way for a nice and wet summer. And last night it, it just poured. It was a nasty little storm about 3 in the morning. Dumped a ton of water. I had about 2 inches, 3 inches of water in my dinghy when I uh, came out this morning. I've been finding leaks all over the boat. Uh, there's two, there's one in my galley, one right above my nav station right here, and I found a new one which destroyed a very pretty rendering of Paramore that a friend of mine did, which I'm pretty heartbroken about. I had never had a leak there before, and of course it would destroy the one thing on the boat that I really, really didn't want to get wet. The water always wins, it's going to find a way in, and you have to stay on top of it. Paramore is mostly made out of wood, and she will rot. In fact, uh, right behind me, this is a area that I've fixed. I have to sand it down and paint it still, but I've had to repair a massive rot spot. Just uh, I've got another one under in the forward windows up there. There's little spots. I have a spot up here that I've had a persistent leak, and I can't find how it's getting in. I've filled every hole I can find with epoxy, but. I'm still chasing it down, but uh, you have to fix it. If you don't, the water will get in and it will destroy everything, especially fresh water. It is the worst. Leaks don't have to uh, be, they don't come right down where they uh, leak through either. A lot of times they travel along the wood and then they will leak, uh, which makes finding them much harder to do, but it's not impossible. And a little common sense and some preventative maintenance, you can get your boat sealed up pretty well. Unfortunately, with a 41-year-old 90% wood boat, I do a lot of leak chasing. And I better get back to it. So until next time, CJ on Paramore. I'll see you all later.